Come on in. Have a seat. We need to talk. I wanted you to join me here today because I'm worried about you. And I know that you think this project's gonna be easy. You think this transformation is gonna not cost that much, or perhaps you think the employees in your organization are ready for change and this isn't gonna be that difficult. I know the system integrators and the vendors are telling you how great the software is and how easy it's gonna to be to go through this transformation, but I'm here to give you the hard truth. Um, none of that's true. And I wanna help you, and more importantly, I want you to want to help yourself. And the good news is I wanna lay out a 12-step recovery plan for you to help you realize and understand that there is a realistic and a better path for you as you go through this digital transformation. The first thing I wanted you to know is that this transformation won't be easy. I know the old system is obsolete. People don't like it. You get a lot of complaints about it. We all see that there's a better way forward. There's a better path forward. But even with that in mind, the transformation isn't going to be easy. Again, I know the vendors are telling you it's going to be easy. System integrators are telling you what great tools they have and how they can do this in just a few months. But the reality is it's going to be a lot more difficult than you want it to be. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm not here to rain on your parade or make things more difficult than it needs to be. But I also want you to be realistic as you go into your transformation. It's not going to be easy and it'll probably cost you more time, money, and resources than you're probably thinking right now. Now, I've been in this industry for a long time and I get it. There's a lot of marketing messaging out there telling you that there's silver bullets out there or one size fits all answers or some magical approach that's going to make this project wildly successful for you. But the best advice I can give you here today is that there are no silver bullets. There are no easy answers. Just because you're implementing a cloud solution doesn't mean it's going to be any easier than if you were implementing an on-premise solution. Just because your vendor says that they've got industry best practices and pre-configurations built into their software doesn't mean it's going to be any easier. The hard part of this is going to be related to changing your operations and changing your people. And as far as I know, I'm not aware of any sort of silver bullet that's going to make that part of the project easier. So just be prepared to recognize that it's all marketing fluff. It's all sales spin. There are no silver bullets out there. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is going to take more time, cost, and resources than you think. And it's definitely going to take more time, cost, and resources than what your vendors and system integrators are telling you. And the reason for that isn't because you don't know what you're doing or the vendors are lying to you, but it's because change is a lot harder than most organizations and, and people realize. And as it relates to the vendors and the system integrators, they look at how long does it take to build and roll out technology. But what you should be worried about is how do I change my business? And changing my business is a lot harder, it takes a lot more time and money than rolling out technology. So just be prepared to take everything you're hearing from the vendors and system integrators with a grain of salt. Because right now they're trying to sell you software, they're trying to sell you their services, they're not necessarily here to help you be realistic in your planning. Now I have a feeling you might be thinking to yourself, this is an IT project. The CIO, my IT manager, my IT director, he or she has got it. It's all under control. I'm going to delegate the project to them and everything will be fine. The reality is, is you can't count on your CIO or your IT director to do this work. It's not because you hired the wrong person or you've got the wrong person in that role. It's because this is a business transformation. This is about your business and only you can decide and dictate how your business is going to change. So assuming that this is an IT project and that your IT department is going to take care of this for you is really a surefire way to fail in the project. So be clear when you're communicating to your team on what it is you're trying to accomplish with this project and what the vision is 
for this project and why ultimately we're going through this project. So really setting the vision and the tone and being heavily involved in the decision making is going to be very important and that's something that you can't just delegate to your IT department. Now just like you can't outsource or delegate your project to the IT department, you also can't just call in a system integrator to come do this all for you. Yes, you need that outside help. You need the technical capabilities to design and build and configure the software, but they're not the ones that are gonna change your business. Only you can do that. If you wanna change your operations or change the way you're organized, change roles and responsibilities, or get business benefits out of that technology, you're gonna to have to do that work. If you just want a technology that works but maybe doesn't work for your business, then sure, go ahead and outsource it to your system integrator. But just recognize that going through this transformation requires you to take ownership and it can't be as simple as outsourcing to one of the big system integrators or your, your reseller that is telling you that they can do this all for you because that's not true. They can't do it all for you, nor should they. It's really up to you to make sure this transformation happens. Now I know you're ready for the change. You probably want this more than most in the organization. And you may even be seeing that other employees in the organization are telling you that they're ready for the change. And they're not lying to you, they probably are ready for the change, or at least they think they are. But what they're not ready for is the impact it's gonna have on the organization. And it's not reasonable to assume that they're gonna know what kind of impact it's gonna have on the organization because they haven't gone through it yet. But what we find is that most companies and most executive teams like yourself don't recognize or realize how much of an impact this sort of transformation has on people. So one of the biggest things you can do to be successful is to resist the temptation to believe that everyone's just ready for change and that somehow that means this change is going to be easy because it won't be. Now you remind me of a lot of clients I work with and most clients I work with come into these sorts of projects with the expectation that we're not gonna customize anything. We've all heard about the horror stories of all the companies that have over customized their technology and as a result, they failed. And so it's a noble goal, it's a noble purpose to say we don't wanna customize if we don't need to, but the reality here is you're implementing off the shelf software that wasn't designed specifically for your business. And to expect that you're just gonna change everything in your business to fit whatever technology you're rolling out is completely unrealistic. That off-the-shelf software might get you 80 or 90% of the way there, but there's that small little bit that's your secret sauce, your competitive advantage, the thing that you don't want to lose, and quite frankly, the thing that you don't want other software vendors to have built into their capabilities, otherwise it wouldn't be a competitive advantage. And so, therefore, you're going to have to make the tough decision that there are going to be things that you probably need to customize. And yes, that will introduce risk, and yes, that will add additional cost to the project. But when you look at the cost and the risk of not having the capabilities you need to run your business and grow and scale, the risk pales in comparison to that. So just recognize that you're probably gonna have to customize more than you think. And if you haven't budgeted time and money for that, I highly encourage you to revisit that assumption. Now, when going through this sort of transformation, there's a lot of big decisions that are gonna need to be made as part of this project, probably more than you realize, but you'll be able to make those decisions and just like you've made decisions every day for however long you've been working with this company. And the challenge here is to make sure that you and your peers at the executive level are on the same page. Make sure you're aligned, make sure you're headed in the same direction. And if you aren't aligned, make sure you get aligned before you start implementing technology. Because the worst thing you can do, both from a perspective of blowing your budget and burning out your team is trying to go through this sort of transformation when you're not all on the same page. If you're all rowing in different directions, the project's gonna go off track pretty quickly and people are gonna get very stressed out and it's gonna create a lot of chaos within the organization. So the more time you can spend up front getting aligned and just getting prepared and make sure that at the executive level we have a clear vision of what we wanna be when we grow up, that's gonna save a lot of time and money and heartache later on. Now, you may have heard a saying out there that no one ever got fired for hiring Accenture or for hiring Deloitte or IBM or whoever the big blue chip company might be. 
But the reality is a lot of companies get fired for hiring these big system integrators because they cost a lot and sometimes they deliver questionable value, especially if you're not managing those system integrators. And so I know the system integrators and the implementers and the resellers may be telling you that, hey, this is no problem, we've got it. We've given you a estimated time frame and budget. We find that time and time again, those estimated time frames and budgets are severely underestimated. So really revisit those assumptions and make sure you recognize that the system integrators are here to sell you their services and to sell you software. And they have a lot of money to make on you making that decision to choose them for their services and their software. So be sure to recognize and do what's best for you as an organization. Now I know we talked about silver bullets earlier, but I also want to talk about industry hoaxes misinformation, things that aren't true, sales spin, marketing spin, whatever you want to call it, there's a lot of that in the digital transformation industry. And it's important, again, to recognize that there is no such thing as, as an easy implementation. And some of the common hoaxes include things like suggesting that cloud's going to be easy because cloud solutions are cutting edge and they're easier to deploy when the reality is they're not e any easier to deploy. They're easier to deploy from a technology perspective, but not from a people and process perspective. I also mentioned before industry best practices and pre-configurations. To me, that's a hoax. Those don't help materially implement any faster or any cheaper or any more effectively than if you didn't have those. So really recognize that there are a lot of hoaxes, a lot of misinformation that's out there and really look agnostically and objectively at that messaging when navigating your path forward. So I know we already covered why you shouldn't delegate this project to your IT department and why you shouldn't outsource it to your implementer, but it's also important to back up and recognize that you are more important to the success of this project than you probably realize. People are looking to you for direction. They're looking to you for decision making. They're looking to you for alignment. They're looking to you to help remove roadblocks, to help identify resources that are gonna be required to make the project successful. They're looking for you to identify risks and mitigate those risks because the project team and others in the organization aren't gonna be able to do that alone. They're gonna need people at the top of the organization to do that for them and to do that with them. So really recognize that you and your involvement and your time and your vision is a lot more important to this project than you may recognize. Now hopefully by now it's clear that this isn't going to be an easy journey. There's going to be a lot of potential on the other side of this transformation, but along the way there's a lot of landmines and pitfalls. And so things at some point will start to veer off track. The project will run into speed bumps and obstacles along the way. And when that happens, it's important for you to recognize that you are in control of this project. It's not your system integrator's fault. It's not your IT department's fault. It's not your project team's fault. It's the organization's fault. And so what do we need to do to not assign blame or to say it's anyone's fault for that matter, but to take control and say, we are gonna make an adjustment. If your system integrator isn't working out for you, replace them. If your system integrator is providing resources that you don't understand what value they're bringing or you feel like there are too many people on your project, rationalize and do what you need to do to, to sharpen the pencil on how you're using those expensive outside resources. If there's a certain part of the functionality of the software you're implementing that is clear, it's not going to work well for your organization, do something about it. Don't implement that part of the technology or go find a different technology to plug that hole or to fill that gap. Or God forbid, customize the software. Whatever you need to do to make sure you get past some of these obstacles along the way is going to be very important. Now, I know a lot of your peers will sit back and say, I'm going to leave this up to the system integrators or to my project team. They've got it under control, and maybe they do, but they're going to run into challenges and need some sort of guidance along the way. So really make sure that you take control and ownership of this project. It's the best way to do, ensure that you succeed. <music> just because we're wrapping up this video doesn't mean I'm not going to be here to help you and that I don't want to help you beyond the end of this video. So I want you to do another thing for me, and that is to download our annual digital transformation report. It's a report that has tons of best practices and things that are going to help you through your transformation 
It's going to build on a lot of the things we've talked about here in this 12-step recovery program, but it's also going to talk about a lot of things we haven't gotten to here today. So download that report. I've included a link to that in the information field below, so I encourage you to check that out. So hang in there. It's going to be okay. I know you're going to get through this, and I hope to chat with you soon. Thank you.